What's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Lee, aka everyone in Fonda. And in today's video, we are out running bike thieves. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea, and let us get into the video. So ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing? I hope you're doing well, and I hope you are enjoying my 30 day challenge. In today's video, we are talking about that unenviable task of trying to outrun motorcycle thieves. I bring this topic up because it's quite a touchy subject for me as I've had three motorcycles stolen in 15 years. And just recently, the scummy bike thieves are at it again. And when I say they're at it again, as most recently as today, they witnessed some poor 14 year old lad get mugged at knife point on two kids or two people on a motorcycle so as you can imagine I have currently got my eyes on springs and I'm looking every which way to make sure there's no bike thieves coming my way and that was very nice of that guy to let me through he must be a biker as well so as you can imagine this is going to be a rather vigorous ride home because I, for one, do not want to get mugged. Not now, not ever, whether it be on two wheels or four, or even on two feet. I do not want to be a statistic that ends up being another one of those poor fuckers that has their bike stolen for whatever reason. I am not going to be one of those people and yes it is a very real problem especially in the UK when it comes to motorcycle theft and uh, it's uh, it, it's disgusting it really is you get people who spend their hard-earned money getting the motorcycle of their dreams or a bike that they've wanted for a long long time they finally get to a situation financially where they can afford it and lo and behold some horrible little fucker decides to come along and either rob them of it while they're sitting at traffic lights or at home or whatever or it gets robbed from when they're uh, it gets robbed from them when they are either at work or at home and that's the worst part about motorcycle theft is that when you're at home and you're in bed you think your home is your mansion you know it's your castle it's your safe haven it's your safe place but even someone's home isn't exactly a safe place when it comes to motorcycle theft which is kind of sad but also true and I for one do not want my bike stolen or my my home being invaded by arseholes trying to make money off of my hard-earned wages or my hard-earned uh, stuff if that makes any sense whatsoever so what do you do if you're confronted by bike thieves do you fight them do you run do you stand your ground or do you just give the keys over and say there you go bruv take it I've got insurance I for one I'm not of the belief that you should give up your stuff without a fight. And it took me five, it took me a long time to get this bike. It took me even longer to pay it off. And I am not, and I repeat this ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to allow some nasty little scabby cunt who'd prefer to smoke weed than get a job and do sweet affair and claim benefits all because they're too fucking lazy to get a job and it, it just makes me sick you know the, the police are powerless to do anything about it well half the time they're powerless to do anything about it should I say especially when you get people like 15 16 year olds that are classed as fucking juveniles and they think they can get away with absolutely fucking anything it's like no that's not how the fucking system works and I recently found this out that as of the age of 10 I think it is in the eyes of the law, you are criminally responsible. And that basically means that you are old enough to know when you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. It's as simple as that. You know, if you're old enough to do the crime, then you're old enough to do the time. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, I'm not being funny, but if you're going to act like a cunt, and if you're going to do this, that and the other, then you deserve to be treated like it. And I know I do swear a lot on my videos and I do apologise for that, guys. But, you know, it boils my blood that the government and the police especially are absolutely bloody powerless 
to serve the right kind of justice to people that do steal. I mean, especially, you know, vehicle theft and vehicle crime. It's a fucking big thing in the UK and it's absolutely disgusting. I like, absolutely hate it. It does my nothing. I hate it. You know, the thousands or well, hundreds of thousands of pounds that are spent on insurance for people in the UK, it's insane. And the fact that uh, there's people out there that will literally ride around on L plates deliberately so they can go around robbing people and then get away with it. it. It makes me sick. It actually makes me physically sick. I hate the old idea that bike thieves can get away with so much shit. It, it, it just boils my blood. I absolutely fucking hate bike thieves. I mean, when I first started riding 17, 18 years ago, motorcycle theft was, was pretty much unheard of. But then obviously the fucking human rights activists and political correctness and all that sort of bollocks started and it's like, yeah, no. As soon as you start putting political correctness in, involved and you get politics involved when good old fashioned justice, you can't do anything. It's literally the police and the government, their hands are tied behind their backs because they can't serve the justice that we all want to see done. You know, if you, if you steal a motorcycle, you deserve 10 years in prison. Boom, standard. No two ways about it. If you're a thieving bastard, whether it be a car, a bike, a push bike or whatever, it makes no difference what it is. If you steal someone's hard earned item or their hard earned belonging, you know, like I said, like a car, like a bike, I don't know, I mean, I've even heard people are stealing fucking mobility scooters, that's how fucking petty people are getting. And if you're going to steal a mobility scooter, you're an absolute scummy cunt. You really are. And I don't care what anyone says. If you do that kind of thing, you definitely deserve to go to hell. You know, there's a special, a, a very, very special place in hell for people like you that steal things like mobility scooters and stuff like that. You know, just absolute scumbags. And it actually, it, and I've said it already, but it absolutely drives me fucking potty that there's people out there that lose out on their hard-earned money and their hard-earned, you know, equipment and you know cars bikes whatever you know all the stuff that they've spent so much time and money earning to be able to afford it to then get some arsehole who's too lazy to get a job or too stoned or too drunk or too whatever to earn a decent living in an honest responsible manner and they think they can go around in the middle of the night stealing cars and bikes and you know exhausts of cars and catalytic converters out of cars and stuff like that if you're one of those people that do that sort of thing I don't care whether it's you know out of desperation or whatever but which, no matter which way you look at it if you're one of them people I'm sorry for the people that, are, that don't do this I'm sorry but the people that do you are all cunts 100% 42 carat wankers. You're all scummy bastards. You all deserve to get what's coming to you. It may not be straight away. It may not be in the next couple of weeks, couple of months or a couple of years. But sooner or later, you will get what's fucking coming to you. Karma has a funny way of finding the people that deserve it the most. Trust me on that, I fucking know. And when that time comes, you have absolutely no one to blame but yourselves. And I hope it hurts. I hope whatever kind of karma comes your way, it fucking hurts you. I hope you get the absolute living shit kicked out of you by, by you stealing the wrong person's bike. I hope you never come across me, because believe me when I say this, I've got something special for you guys if you decide to try and steal my bike. Trust me on that. 100% trust me. But that aside, you know, when it comes to actually dealing with them, like the actual thieves themselves, What can you do? There's a couple of things you can do, in my honest opinion. You can either stand your ground and fight them, depending on how many there are, of course, or you can run, which is what I would prefer to do, given the chance, or you surrender whatever it is that you're on, or driving, or whatever you've got on your person, to the bike thieves. And I don't know about you guys, but I was always raised to defend yourself. If someone comes at you first, you are, you are you have all the rights in the world to protect yourself. And if someone has the cheek to try and attack you, 
whether it be with a weapon, without a weapon, one or two of them, whatever. Obviously, if it's more than two, then I'd suggest probably running. If it's just one on one, then do you know what? Fuck it. Just stand your ground and fight them. If you've got an equalizer, just as much as they have, I'm not going to say what because I don't want my video to be banned. But you know what I'm talking about. If you have one of these particular items on your person, then yeah, fucking use it. I'm telling you. Doesn't matter what it is, it could be something big, something small, something wooden, something metal. It doesn't matter what it is. And I'm not a violent person. I just want to make it absolutely abundantly clear. I'm not a violent person, but if someone threatens my personal space or threatens my property or threatens my way of life or whatever, then you best believe I am all over you like a fucking rash. I don't care what anyone says. If someone invades my personal space and my privacy and my way of life and whatever else, then if I can, I'm fucking you up, straight up. You will get an absolute fucking beating. That might sound really harsh, that might sound that like I'm being really cruel and rude, but... Straight up. If you fuck with me on the wrong day, you're gonna see a side of me that no one ever sees. And like I said before, I'm not a violent person, but given the chance or given the reason, I will and I mean this wholeheartedly, I will defend myself. You know, I do. I know I sound like a mild-mannered, middle-aged man who doesn't say boo to a goose and doesn't go looking for trouble, which is true, I don't. I've never been one of those people to go and look for trouble. I'm just usually unfortunate enough to have trouble find me. Believe it or not. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'm sorry, ladies and gents, for the absolute tirade of emotion and verbal diarrhea that I'm spewing about bike thieves. It's one of those things where it's a very touchy subject for me. Like I've said before. I've had three bikes stolen over the course of 15 years. And I hate the fact that I've had, a, had those many, that many bikes stolen. It absolutely drives me fucking potty. I hate it. But you know what? If it wasn't for that situation occurring, I wouldn't be where I am now. If it wasn't for all those incidences occurring, I would not be on this old girl now. Without a shadow of a doubt, this thing underneath me is, without question, so far, the most powerful bike I've ever owned. The newest bike I've ever owned as well, but <laughs> believe it or not. Actually, no, I lie. It's not the newest bike I've ever owned. The newest bike I've ever owned was a 2012 848 Evo. If it wasn't for those, if it wasn't for all those bikes I got stolen all those years ago, I would not be in a position that I'm in now. Admittedly, I hate the fact that I've had to have, well, I didn't have to have it, but it's a, it, I hate the fact that I've, been the unfortunate victim of motorcycle theft three times to get to where I am now. Yay, 11.98, woo! Oh, I love how progressive these brakes are now. I absolutely love it. It also seems that changing the fuel pump filter has given the bike a bit more punch as well. Again, like I said in the previous video, I don't know whether that's the placebo effect, you know, cul culminating in obviously the new battery, the new TPS and the new fuel filter all at once has combined to make my situation what's this a thunder race <laughs> you don't see many of them around cheers I have no idea what he's saying to me right now, but it's obviously a compliment of some description. Sorry, ladies and gents, I have absolutely no fucking idea what that geezer was saying to me just then. I think he was trying to compliment me on the bike, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't want to be rude to the geezer, but that is definitely a fake Aki he's got on that bike. It's nice when you meet a fellow rider that actually appreciates it. <laughs> it's nice when you meet a fellow rider that actually appreciates a decent looking motorcycle. But 
ladies and gents i do apologize for the whole massive rant that i've just had about bike thieves and how to deal with them and what i think of the situation i mean there are a lot of bikers out there that probably feel the same way as i do but don't really want to voice their opinion whereas i feel with the amount of time that i've spent on the road i'm perfect well not perfectly placed but i'm well placed shall we say ambulance ah! i think i'm well enough placed to be able to give you you know an actual honest opinion and now i'm being joined by this double r what he's got to say oh come on rude boy what are you doing if I do any better I'd uh, recognise that bike but anyway onwards and upwards ladies and gentlemen so far we've managed to get this far in the journey without any bike thieves or any potential thievery so we are doing well doing very well indeed I don't normally ride this spiritedly but thanks to what happened I am not in the vein of being robbed I'm not going to be robbed, I'm not going to let someone rob me If you follow my Instagram feed, you would have seen the story that I posted earlier today saying I work hard for my stuff and ain't no one stealing my shit and that ladies and gentlemen is the moral of the story I am not allowing anyone or anything come between me and my happiness The way I see it, I live my life my way I won't allow any bike thief or any sort of arsehole to get in my way Once again, I can't say this enough I am so sorry that this video has turned into nothing more than me ranting about bike thieves And this is only the second time I've been being on the bike since my two week holiday So fuck knows what's going to happen once this 30 day challenge is over I, I, I really don't know But one thing's for certain The content will be coming thick and fast I know we've done the 30 day challenge but what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and scale back my videos to twice a week possibly Just definitely at least once a week and we'll try to do something every week and try and focus on one particular topic at a time things like world superbikes, BSB, general motorcycling news things that are going on in my life and just you know just bring you guys along for some hopefully really entertaining footage because again at the end of the day that's what this channel is all about I hate doing these videos where I'm ranting and raving and stuff like that but sometimes they're needed do you know what I mean sometimes a good old rant helps you know purge the soul so we say it sometimes helps cleanse your mind and for me it just allows me to oh fuck me I wasn't ready for that it just allows me to have a heart attack by an ambulance but it's just one of those it's, these videos are one of those things that sometimes need to happen I don't like it when they do, but they need to be, every so often they need to be done. And that's pretty much where I'm at with it. So I'm not going to bore you guys any further by moaning and groaning about bike thieves and what to do and whatever else. We're all adults here. We all know how to look after ourselves and what we need to do at the worst case scenario, which hopefully will never happen. But anyway, for now, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for listening to me waffle on. I do appreciate all the love and support that I get from you guys. 
But for now, you guys have been awesome. I have been Lee, aka Riding Thunder, saying look after yourselves, look after each other, stay safe on the road. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, adios.